So I want to draw door headers to this RCP plan, but having hundreds of doors to add my headers would be a pain in the neck. So I'm gonna use a technique to streamline this process. Um, and let me show you those steps. So again, this is an XREF of this existing floor plan, and I need to add door headers. I'm not gonna do it manually one by one, that's crazy. So let's see how we can streamline this process. So I have doors already drawn here. If somehow I could reuse those doors and convert them into door headers, it would simplify my life a lot. So, however, these are just exploded geometry. It's an arc and we have a polyline over here. So how can I do that then? Well, how I'm gonna do it is I am gonna, um, hmm, how can I do that, right? So what I'm gonna do is utilize a command, convert. So what this command is gonna do is, once I select a geometry like my door, uh, my entire door with these uh, hinges. And once I accept that, AutoCAD is gonna immediately look in my entire drawing and find similar geometry. It doesn't matter if my door is rotated, as you can see over here, still is gonna select it. So, and once I accept that, um, recommendation or highlight in green as you can see I'm gonna have this um, dialog box here where I could create a new block and call it header I can call this header like so and then I can use the geometry center but in this case I don't think it will work I'll instead select uh, my base point myself by clicking this icon. And then I'm gonna um, place an, a strategic location. In this case would be my hinge, like so. And I'll click convert. So as you can see here, um, we have created or converted it all of these exploded geometry into blocks and the idea is that now that i have this select them all uh, using the select similar and with the control shift c i can pick a base point uh, to copy i'm going to copy from this base point over here and I can simply go to my RCP and paste those doors with the same base point over here. So once I do that, uh, what's gonna happen is that we can now convert this block into headers. And let me show you how we can do that, all right? So the way I'm gonna do it is simply edit this block in place and that way I can remove all of this geometry that I don't need right and create my door header so from the same base point as I previously had to avoid any mm, weird results <laughs> so I'm gonna place my door header like so now I'm gonna 
save the changes and click OK. And as you can see, all of my door headers were thrown immediately. I didn't have to do it manually. Now, that's not all. If we select this, is this still a block and in a wrong layer? I want them to be on the correct layer and not be a block, simply a polyline or a rectangle, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place uh, all of them using the select similar option. And that's why it's important to still have it as a block. I'm going to place it on the correct layer, which is a header. Now, as you can see, um, this is not updating uh, to green. It's because we have some overridden properties here. So let's fix that to by layer and still not changing. That's why it's good to still have it as a block. So let's get inside the block. Let's select this geometry and let's see what's going on. And that's the reason why it's on a wrong layer. It's supposed to be on layer zero, right? So once we change that, everything is as expected. The last step is simply select all of your door headers. Um, explode it. Well, <laughs> no, not explode it because it will lose the properties. It's now on layer zero and we don't want that. <laughs> so let me undo. Let's select everything again. And let's use the bars command instead to keep the layer properties. So once we do that, we can see immediately that our door header is now a polyline, which is what we wanted. And we are done. <laughs> so what do you think about this technique? Again, um, to streamline some of these tedious processes, right? Especially when we have hundreds of items that we need to manually do something. And this is just an example, uh, but this can work with multiple situations.